This is their feeder can right here. This was full of sugar water. They're gonna start taking off here. Hopefully my little plant there doesn't bother them too much. And they should migrate in and that's what they're doing. I actually got into bees uh, during my undergraduate. I've always wanted to be a veterinarian and so um, I was like, well, if I like fuzzy creatures, why not maybe invertebrates for a change? So throw in a bee suit and uh, ever since then, nothing's been the same. CSU is one of the top vet schools and this kind of sets us apart uh, from the other vet schools. I think it's so important to be here and CSU is the perfect place to do it, um, especially because we have the eco dorms and already kind of this sustainability um, theme over around campus. I think that it just fit perfectly. Recently, uh, January 2017, bees were put under the jurisdiction of veterinarians. The reasoning behind it was the fact that uh, antibiotic use needs to be more regulated and sent through a veterinarian without being over the counter. And they saw that honeybees were kind of in the same boat, that there was over the counter antibiotic use, also less regulation in the actual honey product. I think it's also really important because uh, bees are dying and a lot of us don't know why. And so applying the curative power of medicine, I think, is the next step. Bees are not trying to hurt you. They are actually so important to our ecosystem, our food supply. Um, and I think the best thing is putting them right in front of everybody so that people become more comfortable and hopefully in the future when it comes to it and they need to be advocates for bees, they step up and actually do that because bees are so important. <laughs>